I'm Rocky Lindsay. I'm a veterinarian and I teach animal science here at University of Arkansas at Monticello. Uh, for a couple years we've been trying to get some uh, sheep out here for our students and for our community and today we got our first dozen sheep. These are Katahdin. They're a hair sheep um, that we will use to, uh, for teaching purposes and potentially research purposes for both the students and for the uh, ag community. We have a few more coming today. We'll end up with 22 sheep and we also have a couple of livestock guardian dogs that will be their protectors. Sheep are supposed to be uh, pretty complimentary to beef cattle, uh, especially whenever you're looking at forage management. Um, so that is the one thing that I look forward to the most in, in learning how to uh, um, take advantage of both uh, animals and, and them complimenting each other, especially for uh, forage management. Yeah, so we will, um be a sheep operation, a sheep farm here. So we will raise these sheep uh, to have lambs. Uh, we will vaccinate. Uh, we will help with the uh, maternity process and uh, we'll help with uh, uh, keeping their feet sheared. We will uh, protect them for parasites and treat them accordingly uh, with the FAMACHA scoring system. So we will uh, we'll try to be an example for others to follow. We're very, very lucky here at the university and that we have uh, we have enough acreage that we can uh, we can have large ruminants and small ruminants, and so we're just increasing our um, our ability to turn out more information. So we won't be producing wool. We'll actually be producing sheep for meat. Uh, sheep meat's called mutton, and um, there's a large uh, community out there that prefer sheep meat and uh, mutton. So we will be providing um, meat uh, instead of wool, like you normally think with a sheep operation. The sheep help the UAM animal science program by, by uh, providing a different animal to raise. Uh, we, uh, we have a local community here that raises uh, sheep and goats that are really underserved by veterinarians and by education. So we will also be adding some goats to our farm uh, as well uh, so that we can be a source of information and uh, a, a also a recruiting tool for students that want to learn more about the small ruminant industry. Well, I'll, I'll say this, the, the process as far as getting them today was the simple part. The, uh, the process for, if you can look around, the, there's a new fence. You're going to have to have added fencing. Um, it's it's a, an endeavor that we've probably been into for about two and a half months, getting prepared for this one single day. And uh, we loaded them up. Uh, this morning unloaded them here and they, they just uh, have really adapted well. Uh, they know what an uh, electric fence is and so it's, it's, you know, a little nervous about where they're going to be tomorrow morning, but uh, I'm excited about where they're at today.